Ladies and gentlemen, we are very lucky this evening. Over at Dictionary Corner, it's legend of hospital radio, Ivan Brackenbury. Thank you. <laughs> Ivan, would you mind telling us a little bit about yourself? Uh, I work in a hospital radio station. I'm a volunteer, but I'm really professional. <laughs> How did you get into hospital radio? Uh, well, when I was visiting my mum in hospital, uh, they had a hospital radio station, so I used to go and do that, and uh, I thought, one day I really want to be on that station, and then I did, so I achieved my dreams. <laughs> and um, <laughs> and uh, the patients love me. Sometimes they play tricks on me and jokes on me. When I'm collecting requests, sometimes uh, they pretend to be sleeping, <laughs> so I don't tell to them. <laughs> But if you stand really still and watch him, you can tell they're not really sleeping by just watching the breathing patterns. <laughs> so how long do you watch the sleeping patients for? Until I notice that they are really awake, and then I'm like, hey, yeah, have you got a request? <laughs> I think I might cry. Um... <laughs> Could they have done any better? They couldn't have done any better, could they? Um, we've only got six letters, but we got one extra they didn't get. What, what did you get? An iron. It's a negatively charged iron. Ah. Could you just explain what that is? Well, you know, like, you've got an iron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's positive. Right. But if you have one that's negative, you call it an iron. <laughs> <laughs> Attracted to the anode, basically, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. So when you have an anode, they're attracted to the to that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Takes all sorts, doesn't it? <laughs> There's a lid for every pot. Yeah. No. Are you? <laughs> are you? Are you in a relationship at the moment? Um, I don't have a girlfriend, but I've got girls that are my friends. Those are like my mum. Uh, <laughs> just me, Mum. I'm not sad. I've got aunties too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time now to go over the dictionary corner to Hospital Radio's very own Ivan Brackenbury. <laughs> and we're going to do a live broadcast with Channel Four and Hospital Radio. From maternity to the morgue, from cardiovascular to urinogenital, this. <laughs> Is Hospital Radio. Ivan Brackenbury. He's bonkers. He's bonkers. Ivan Brackenbury. The cheerful earful. <laughs> Ivan Brackenbury. Out and about. Reaching, reaching out, out. And touching patients. That's right. <laughs> not actually. Not since the memo. OK. <laughs> Big shot going out. Uh, request wise, we've got one for John P. Smith. Uh, he's been waiting for a transplant for ages and nothing seems to be turning up. Do you know what, John? I'm sure something will turn up soon. Fingers crossed. I actually don't think it will. <laughs> Thank you. Fingers crossed, John, we'll be listening out to them traffic and travel reports for you, eh? <laughs> you don't know, do you, whether we've been having? Good luck with it. <laughs> and, um, we have been raising money for eczema. We've got scratch cards uh, for sale, <laughs> if you are interested. This one is for Mike. Unfortunately, he's had a motorcycle accident and twisted his neck right round. He's a massive fan of Mike and the mechanics. Looking back. <laughs> oh, You're listening to me, Ivan Brackenbury. We are live on Channel 4. It's time now for my thought for the day. Never make fun of someone who mispronounces a word because they probably learnt that word from Reading. <laughs> Massive ears, he's having them pinned back. He loves Simply Red. <laughs> Holding back the ears. <laughs> and, uh, Brian's in Ainley. It's a long story, actually. It all began when he got stuck on the tube. Now, nah, they've managed to get that out. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they reckon the hamster's going to cause some permanent damage. <laughs> and a big shout out to Bill. He's got worms. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening 
to me, Adam Blackenbury. If you're feeling at death's door, I'll pull you through. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to do it, everyone. Is there is there a psychiatric ward? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There is a psychiatric ward. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. And you don't have a girlfriend, but you're not allowed to touch the patients since the memo. So. Yeah, I find you a bit scary anyway. All right. <laughs> <laughs> What are you looking for in a, in a, in a girlfriend, if you were to have a girlfriend? What are you um, for? My ideal girl would be, like, the, the head of Rachel from Friends, uh, the torso of Hollywood a bit, and then the legs of Angelina Jolie. All joined up, obviously, not just, like, loose or in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go to Dictionary Corner once again. Ivan Brackenbury, what have you got for us? I've got another live broadcast back to Hospital Radio! <laughs> I am bunkers. Ask the radio broadcasters, do it to ill people. Yes, we do. <laughs> like Bill, who can count on one hand the number of times he's lost four fingers in an accident at work. Thumbs up, Bill. OK. <laughs> Kick it off with this one. It's uh, from John to the love of his life, Julie. Unfortunately, she did lose an eye while on holiday in Spain. She's a massive fan of R.E.M. And this plays next for her. Here we go. This one goes out to the one I love. <laughs> the one I love. This one goes out to the one I left behind. <laughs> the one I left behind. <laughs> OK, this one's for Jimmy. He's not giving his second name because it's an embarrassing problem. Let's just say it's his finger, and every time he pees through it, it hurts. Um, <laughs> he's got some kind of infection down there. It's very painful, it's very tender, it's very swollen. Can't touch this. MC. <laughs> OK. Well, yesterday it was National Awareness Day. I had no idea, did you? No, no me neither. <laughs> um, <laughs> Next week, it's National Diarrhea Week. Runs till Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout to Graham, whose eye operation didn't go as well as he expected. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, listening to me, Evan Brackenbury. We're live on a Friday. Saturday. Oh, that's. Hang on a minute. One minute. Friday. Sunday. These are on a loop, and you Monday. can't. <laughs> can't reset Tuesday. this now. I've got to go all the way around. Wednesday. Just bear with me. Thursday. Thursday. Here we go. Friday. 1961. <laughs> 1962. It's actually a bigger loop than I realised. To me. <laughs> Ivan Brackenbury, everyone. And, and Susie, could they have done any better? <laughs> well, no. <laughs> <laughs> we got gauche. <laughs> gauche. Could yeah. you use that in a sentence, please, Ivan? Oh, it, it, Sean Connery in a movie going, oh, look, a gauche. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 